Global Korea Scholarship Graduates step Program, step guide Day Five. To apply for the Global Korea Scholarship Program, Graduate Studies, this February 2024. Hello everyone, this is Justin. This is day five of our 30-day guide for Global Korea Scholarship Program Graduate Studies. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the step-by-step -step guide of how you'll be able to accomplish this Global Korea Scholarship Program, be able to apply and submit your documents to your chosen track. I will divide this video between embassy track and the university track. So first, all the embassy track for embassy track so you decided to apply by embassy track meaning you will submit your documents to the embassy so that is the first step you decided i will go to the embassy track and submit my documents to the embassy step two collect all the documents required for the global career scholarship program as i mentioned yesterday in the yesterday's guide all of those documents that you need to submit, you have to submit them, provide copies, depending on the version they want it to be, apostilled, uh, certified true copy, whatever copy it is. Prepare all documents. Number three, accomplish a well-written essay. So after gathering all documents, now you have to craft your own essay. Make sure to answer all the guidelines and I'll be giving you more details of what to do with the essays on the next few videos. After collecting the documents and completing your essay, compile them together and then you will submit them via courier or you will deliver them by mail to the embassy, the Korean embassy in your own country. Please take note, it's not email, it is by mail. Either you will go there or you will submit through a courier, depending on which method is convenient for you. So once you submitted your documents, it's with them. Starting the assessment from the embassy track and then moving on with the next stages of the application process, which I'll be discussing in the next few videos. So that's easy. Technically, four steps for the embassy track. Now, let's go to the university track, meaning by the name university, you have to submit your documents by mail to the Korean university of your choice. So, same thing. Step one, decided to go to the university track. Step two, gather all the documents, but this time, make sure to check how many copies they would require. Embassy track, they require four but the university track, sometimes they would only require one copy or some universities would require two sets. Make sure you'll be able to check everything and submit accordingly. Stage three is submit, uh, write your essays. Same thing, write a succinct, well-written, storytelling-based essay. After making this essay, I'll give another details on that on my next few videos. Now, compare them together, which is your stage four. Book a courier that would send your documents by mail, again, by mail, to the Korean university of your choice. Make sure, this is important, make sure you indicate the exact office, the exact details of the receiving person in the university. So if the university accepting is the International Affairs Office, make sure to indicate International Affairs Office and the people, in the person in charge. So, as an extra step for the university track um, applicants, make sure to research on the people who will be receiving your documents in the chosen Korean university. So, take note of the name, probably like expect the date of arrival because it's important. Even if you have sent your documents, however, they arrived late in South Korea, your documents will be disqualified and will not be included in assessment. So it's very important to, make, to take note of that. And once you have submitted your documents, you're already there. There'll be a document screening, interview, blah, 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 which will be discussed in the next few videos. I hope with this step-by-step -step guide, I was able to clarify some of the steps you're asking about and what to do. So make sure to watch the whole entirety of this video 
probably noting the university track within the latter and embassy track on the first part of this video. So make sure to watch and identify for yourself which one is better for you, which will be the next topic for the next few videos. Bye-bye!